one true way. about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You sound just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanus each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. I pray no Goblin Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Calm down, please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed.
Sylvanas guide your path. This is about your precious border's gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. You. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican, the greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before, a young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it, he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is, the greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me, in either magic or talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting. I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. I'm going to kill six hundred. Focus. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run. For... This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. 
and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. The waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Again. Swing and swing and parry. And again. Swing and swing and... I'd die if I met Laroa can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. No, I'll it. We're exposed. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. It's that, or teach them to beg for their lives. The goblins will chase us to Baldur's Gate, and these kids know it. A warrior like you could lift their spirits.
Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. Another step forward. Swing and swing and parry. Objective noted. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um... I'm the guard? So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Is that blood? No, never mind. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Now call it. Heads or tails? Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud! You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have.
Thank you. That means so much. That's what I got. Nothing you suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> You will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give her a chance. You, get back! It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. No. And you'll find trouble all the same, unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You! Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. I can understand you. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities, you search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. 
And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you? Complexum tuum. Abtera autum. Agnostifera. Complexum tuum, abtera o tuum, ad... The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Not all enemies are outside our walls. Again? Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. I would prefer not to. But if Master Halson does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halson did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned.
a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. Defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was uncalled for. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar with. Nevertheless, please don't try that again unless I invite you to. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food. Drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me! <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with.
Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital, dare I say it, critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. I don't want blood on my hands. 
We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be... Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Nettie, yes. She's bumbling about somewhere. But if your treatment is meant to outlast the right, you'll be removed with the rest. This will all You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanus' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close.
please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Anything of use? I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. There is medication. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not our kid for nothing. I could take one of the gods, maybe two. What about the bear? I'd like to keep our guts on the inside. Keep this up and you'll have blood on your hands. Another step forward. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. 